right. Um, I didn't realize that I was getting to the end of that last video, so we're just going to finish the last of chapter two now. Um, so, yes, yeah, so Dorian, um, according to Basil, the picture is now the real Dorian because the, um, the human Dorian is changed um, from the Dorian that he knew. Um, and Dorian's just happy that the picture looks indeed like him because um, he's now reveling in the opportunities that are going to be afforded to him by his physical beauty. And he's decided to go off to the theatre with Henry, even though Basil doesn't want to go. So he promises um, Basil that he will come and visit him the following day, um, which he ends up not doing. Surprise, surprise, spoiler alert. Um, so uh, just before they leave, poor Basil says to Henry, he says, remember what I asked you when we were in a garden this morning? Um, and Henry says, I've forgotten it. Now, I don't think he has. Okay, Basil's referring to um, saying, please don't influence him, your influence will be bad. Well, I think, you know, that cattle that um, has, you know, shot the, the uh, no, that's a mixed metaphor, that ship has sailed. Okay. Um, and Basil repeats, I trust you. I wish I could trust myself, said Lord Henry. So again, every time somebody tries to engage on a meaningful level with Lord Henry, he's very dismissive and kind of makes a joke out of it. So you can imagine it's hard to get him to be serious. Okay. And so Dorian and Lord Henry leave. Um, and as the door closed behind them, the painter flung himself down on the sofa and a look of pain came into his face. And I think we can definitely ascribe that look of pain to him realizing that his worst um, fears have come true and that he um, he has lost Dorian to the influence of Lord Henry, which is what he was worried about would happen in the first place. Okay, so that is chapter one. Very dense, lots going on. Oh, sorry, chapter two. Lots of exposition still, but obviously the main thing that's really important is that um, we've got these important transference of ideas between um, Lord Henry and Dorian. The hedonism, temptation, pleasure-seeking, youth and beauty is all important. Um, and live, live the life that is in you while you can. And nothing can cure the soul but the senses, and the senses but the soul. And so off Dorian goes to spend more time with Henry and what he later calls his poisonous theories. And, of course, then the really important um, plot point is that Dorian utters the wish that this Faustian bargain, we sometimes call it, and that's a reference to a play um, by Christopher Marlowe called, who was a contemporary of Shakespeare, called Dr. Faustus, where the character um, makes a deal with the devil, uh, sells his soul. Um, and so a Faustian bargain is a reference to um, giving up your soul in exchange for something. And so... Um, the reference there is that Dorian has um, exchanged his soul for eternal youth and beauty. And that's all for Chapter 2.